Nice. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. We're, we're going to follow up, Mr. Gray, right now, because I, I can tell you that Mr. Conley is spot on, and this is not your first rodeo. You know, we we have had these other issues before with regards to privacy, and is it your sworn testimony today that this did not actually require a notification of Congress? No, sir. My understanding is that the IRS had reported the incident and that it was a breach. But the Department of Education, my understanding, when I was notified on March 3rd that the, the notification had already happened, I have learned in this hearing that it did not happen. Well, how can the American people, actually people who share private information with you, who expect it be protected, have confidence when you're here today and you don't even know the full story that you're finding it out in a hearing when you knew that we were going to be looking at this. How can you find a hacker who truly wants to come in and do harm and you can't even be prepared for sworn testimony today on questions that I presume that you knew we were going to ask? I understand, sir. The, the, the child Where's the outrage? Where is the outrage, Mr. Gray? Are you not outraged? I absolutely am. Our, our Why didn't you notify Congress? My understanding was this was not of Department of... Well, you realize that was not... Uh, did you have your counsel that said you don't have to notify us? Who did you check with who said... You don't need to notify Congress. We went through our incident response process, who did an assessment. So why did, you, why did you refer something to an outside agency before you notified your own IG within your department? Our IG was notified right after we were... Well, but this. according to my documents, you actually notified uh, U.S. CERT first, according to your testimony. Why would you do that and wait to get the IG involved? Because when we notify U.S. CERT, it's to let them know that we were investigating something that had occurred. At that time, we weren't sure what had happened. Okay, so the IG, you go, you notify the IG. It was important enough to notify the IG, but it was not important enough to notify Congress. Hindsight, sir, yes, it was important enough to notify Congress. Well, at what point, at what point are we going to get this right? Because we continue to have breaches. Mr. Conley and I have had a number of hearings where we've raised this as a concern. And yet what happens is, is we're always coming in after the fact to look at this. Do you not see a problem with that? I do see a problem with that. Well, when are we going to get it fixed? Sir, we receive on average more than 1.5 million intrusion attempts every single month at the department. And what my team does is we assess to determine whether or not Something had happened, nothing happened, and logistically, I mean, I know in this case it's easy to look and say, okay, this should have been reported. I understand that. So you're saying it's a matter of logistics on why you didn't report it? Because that's, that's different from what you said earlier. Earlier you said you didn't think you had to report it. Based on the analysis that my team did, we, our information, our information, the information that I am so how confident are you that there was only 89,000 people that were affected? Based on the log analysis that was done at the department, very confident. All right. A 10? Yes, sir. So if we find out there's more than that, are you willing to resign? If, it's, if I don't know the information, no, sir. I mean... Well, you said you're confident at a level of 10, so I guess I would stake my reputation on that if you're confident at a 10. So if there's more than that, because the IRS knows that sometimes we find out that there's actually more people that were affected than was originally thought. So if you're confident at a 10, are you willing to stake your reputation and your job on it? So, sir, the, the challenge here is that... When sir, we... I am representing people back home in North Carolina, as every member here is. And you know what? They fail to realize that you can't protect sensitive information that they give you, and they don't understand that. I don't understand it. At what point are we going to have a confidence when people share their information with the government that it is not subject to being shared with another party? 
Isn't that what your job's all about as CIO? Yes, sir. All right. The next time, are you going to inform Congress when there may be a doubt? Will you form us with, uh, inform us within the seven days? Absolutely. All right. Ms. Garza, last question to you. Why didn't you inform us? Congressman, we uh, briefed the staff shortly after we brought down... You didn't brief our staff. Why didn't you inform Congress? That's the, that's the question of the day. Because according to your uh, TIGDA, it's, it's 100,000, so it certainly even meet that threshold. But why wouldn't you inform us? So, Congressman, we did inform the Congress uh, that this was a data breach. The reason why it took as long as it did is because we were going through analyzing the information. The initial population was much smaller than 100,000 that we thought were impacted. We also needed to coordinate with the Department of Education to determine whether this... Uh, but didn't you find it just based on dumb luck? It was actually just one of your IRS employees that actually got a transcript request, and they said, hey, something doesn't smell right here. Congressman, we have multiple layers of... Uh, uh, that's not the question. Wasn't it dumb luck that you happened to find this? No. So it wasn't an IRS employee that happened to get a transcript? Be careful, you're under sworn testimony I, here. The, it was an IRS employee. He received a notification as part of one of our defense mechanisms that his account had been accessed. So it was an IRS employee who happened to have his stuff that was notified, and we said, hold on, we got a problem here? Don't, do you not see that that is almost laughable? One of our mechanisms to determine whether something has gone wrong is a notification to the taxpayer. Our systems automatically send out a notification. So you purposely embed IRS employees in all this so that they might get a personal notification so they can highlight this? Come no. on, I'll yield back. 